Hi, I'm Karen McMullen and welcome to The Empowered Manifester and today's topic on how to inform and really all about informing as a manifester. The purpose of this series is for you to hear from manifestors who have been experimenting with being a manifester for a while and hearing how they have learned to smooth things out for themselves and really become empowered. Matt, welcome to my channel. Again, I'm Karen McMillan. I am not a manifester. I'm a manifesting generator. However, ever since I started doing human design readings, I think five or six years ago, I have been always having a lot of readings with manifestor women, and I've come to really appreciate them and have a special place in my heart for them. What is a manifester? A manifester is only 9% of the population. It's a relatively rare aura type. They have a connection from one of the motor centers to the throat, which means that they have energy moving to manifest, either coming through as voice or into action, and they have an undefined sacral center. The aura type of the manifester is a dense, closed and repelling aura. So the aura is designed to push energy and to really initiate and get things going by making an impact. Because of that impact, it's important that the manifester learns to inform people of how they plan to move in the Maya. So informing is simply letting people know what you're doing, giving people information. <laughs> Unlike the other types, for the manifester, the informing is not a mechanical strategy. It's actually a political strategy or a marketing strategy. It's something that just like creates more support, less resistance. And so it's really for your own benefit, but it's not mechanically required as it would be, for example, for a generator to learn to wait to respond because mechanically their aura functions that way. So let's hear from our beautiful manifester women on the topic of informing. Manifestors tend to want to do their own thing. We're very independent people. And we surprise people by the things we do half the time because we haven't informed them. And it's not because we do it because you know, we're out to get them or to disrespect anyone. It's just because it's what's on our mind and we just thought, hey, I'm gonna do this and it's kind of the spur of the moment thing. And it's like, well, I'm gonna go do this. And we might not inform anyone. So I had to learn that in order to really not offend anyone that I have to inform others. Uh, it has always been my way to do what I need to do. You know, if I wake up and I feel like I need to go for a five mile run, then I'm going to say, hey, I'm going for a five mile run, I'll be back when I'm done. Or, you know, whatever it is that I need to do for me, I just have the habit of just doing it. When it comes to informing, for me as a manifester, that is in fact been the hardest thing to embody and to bring into my life. First and foremost, it just felt like the most unnatural thing to do. Uh, I've always had this overwhelming sense that uh, what it is that I do, what it is that I say, or where I am uh, inspired or drawn to move towards is, is my business and, and my business alone. So it's been a huge learning curve to really understand that my impact is greater than what I really uh, know it to be. It's hard for me to remember to inform others. I'm constantly failing with that one. But luckily, I have people around me to remind me that they know that that's my weak point. And um, I'm doing better and better. When I inform others, people are on board and I have less resistance. And there's like this, it's like I'm, I'm picturing certain people in my life in particular 
that when I'm informing them what's going on ahead of time, there's ease in our connection. I feel like they're supportive of me. They're, they're, they wanted to contribute and cheer me on or whatever it is. And when I don't inform and just get in my natural pattern, it's just, it's still a pattern that I haven't broken when I just go into my own independent zone. Um, I meet resistance. I meet frustrations from other people. I meet what I meet that's, that's hard to hear, but it, but it's, it's really helped me is that people say, I don't trust you. People trusting me is important. So that has been the key that's turned, that's, that's, that's lit the, the, the fire in me to, to start really paying attention to the importance and value, valuable value of me informing people of what I'm doing. I want to create that trust so they can trust me more. It's huge for me, actually. And by understanding that impact, it's actually helped me to really empathize with those that I don't inform. And I've found over the years that the more that I do inform, it definitely creates a spaciousness. It certainly doesn't create permission per se, but I do really see people around me just take a breath and quite often will actually step back to give me space to create what it is that needs to be created or to move in the direction where the creative life force is uh, wishing to take me. So it's been a very, very big learning curve in terms of going against what seems like, going against something that feels quite unnatural. And with time and with practice, I've actually really seen how it's created more spaciousness, more ease in my relationships, both professional and personal as well. And sometimes I have to inform people that, you know, this is not something against you. This is just me needing my space and my time. And that is a way of informing. So, you know, I don't want to appear aloof to people because my heart is very open, but also I need my time together because of the impact that I make on the world. And I have to understand the impact and, and, and in order to be the impact, I need to be clear. And I need to be clear in a way that doesn't make people feel like I'm out to get them. Informing is a two way street. So just as manifestors create less resistance by informing people in their lives, they, they also will experience less anger and, and um, annoyance when they inform people in their life that it would be helpful for the, them to inform the manifestor and not to ask them or tell them. A manifestor is here. They don't like to be told and they don't like to be asked. They just need to inform. And I like the words that to ask and to be told is something that we uh, don't like. And um, informing the neutrality of the word inform is actually what impressed me. When other people inform me, I do appreciate it very much. Information is a way to understand people. And it's, it's a form of communication. Asking other people to inform me, um, yeah, it's so important. It's so important to me. Just, just let me, it's this place of just let me know what's going on. So then I know how to, how to arrive or how to appear, how to come into the, to the energy. Just inform me of, 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 of what's happening. Um, give me the update. Give me the, give me the, give, my big thing is give me the big picture. Give me the big picture. Inform me of what I'm stepping into so that I can prepare. What I've realized about myself is that I need to actually inform other people that I need to be informed because otherwise, you know, they're, they're sitting there waiting for me to go in and check up on them or to, you know, say, oh, are you okay? Or does the, did that make you feel uncomfortable when I'm just expecting for them to tell me? So that, that has been a very effective strategy in my life to tell people that I need to be told um, about what they're feeling so that they don't get offended and feel like I don't care because I do care but I'm just also very driven and motivated and focused on what it is that I need out of every situation out of every day and so uh, not that I you know am disregarding other people in order to 
achieve what I need to achieve, but I do need that input in order to be able to, you know, to react to, to what they're telling me. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going with whatever I have to do. Okay, we never like to be told what to do. And yes, it does stir up a lot of anger in us because it's just like, you know, we are our own person and we're here to be our own person. It's just the way we are designed. And it's not because we're angry at the person. It's just like, you, it, it's like disrespecting a manifester to tell them what to do. The manifester will back off and not be there for you when you start to tell them what to do because they don't want to be told what to do. I, that's my experience as a manifester. I don't want to be told what to do. And yeah, there, it is different. Like, don't just tell me or demand that I do something, but inform me what's happening. It calms my nervous system. It, it, it's, it, it takes me into that place of peace. It, it uh, keeps at bay any kind of anger because I can get angered easily. Um, but yeah, it just, it's a whole different ball game to walk into a situation or something feeling calm in my system and at peace than anger and irritated by not being informed. And, and, and actually it's, it, it, I have to put a lot of energy, like what I would call unnecessary energy into trying to figure out because if people aren't informing, informing me, I get really, uh, agitated by that. So letting know, let Aaron know, Aaron, letting Aaron know what's going on is it behooves everybody. Well, that was really informative for me. I'd love to know what you got out of today's video. If you like today's video, um, it's very helpful for me and my goal of growing my YouTube channel for you to comment, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and perhaps even share this with another manifester that you know. I definitely won't tell you what to do, but that's just informing you of the impact that that would have on me. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to share with you the next videos in this series. And uh, please, any feedback you have, I'm open to hearing it. Much love, take care, and see you soon. <laughs>